Next step is to just kind of get everything cleaned up. I think we're gonna be done here for today. We got dad here helping with the lights. Peace, Peace out. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the vlog. We've got a busy day on our hands. We're at the Airbnb because it's time to make progress on this place and get this place done. So we've got baseboards, we've got cuts to make, trim to cut, something, backer board to cut. We got some goodiness in this video. So let's get to it. All right, so as Neiman said, we are here at the Airbnb. We're gonna be getting some stuff done. It is like an 80 degree day, so we're definitely utilizing the nice weather um, because I do need to be outside for some of the things that I'm gonna do today. One of the things that I want to get done is staining the baseboards that I sanded in the last vlog that we were at the Airbnb. And then the other thing that I want to do is cut new backer boards for the stairs. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about with that. Um, but because the baseboards are so long, I have to basically put them out the window to get them outside because they won't fit in the small confines of the stairwell. So we're gonna put it out the window and then I'll be able to stain them outside. Now that we've got these guys down here, um, before I stain them, I'd like to try and get these nails out. I was gonna try and leave them in and just put them back in the same holes, but that's gonna just be a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna try and like hammer them out almost. Some of them are gonna be easier than others. I'm gonna be using the color red mahogany for these. This is the color that basically we've deemed the color of the trim and the doors throughout the Airbnb upstairs. So I like to apply it with a uh, lint-free cloth. I am going to put some gloves on because it's oil-based and it will stain my hands. This is definitely gonna be one of the more tedious jobs. What I need to do is cut a piece of wood to size in each of the backs of the stairs. Now I have made measurements um, at one point, but I do think I'm gonna double check just to make sure um, that everything is gonna fit correctly. I got some like one quarter inch ply, um, Plywood, and I'm going to that's what I'm going to be making the backer boards out of and then we will stick on the peel and stick wallpaper before we actually attach them to the back of the stairs this one down here is staying white so let's do this one and this one they look to be about the same size so I'm gonna measure real quick This side is good. This side's like too wide. <laughs> hey, we got all the backer boards 
cut. It took us a little while to get all the measurements and cut them correctly. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna number them one to 13 all the way down and I'm gonna take them home with me so I can just do the wallpapering of them in the comfort of my own home and that way whenever we come back over here i'll just be able to go boop 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 and uh, put them back up here so next step is to just kind of get everything cleaned up i think we're going to be done here for today but next time we come over we will attach all these and put the trim on and all that good stuff So really quick before we wrap it up here, I'm going to do a polyurethane spray um, for the baseboards and the trim because I do want a little bit of a layer of protection, not too crazy, but um, I do want to do that. So all this is is a polyurethane clear. It's satin and it's just in a spray can. I've used this once before. Super easy to apply and not def definitely not as messy as like a wipe on or a brush on poly. A delivery while we were gone. It is our living room ottoman, Jonathan Lewis. This was at Nebraska Furniture Mart, so we didn't have to wait for it to come like we were waiting on our couch. So we decided to keep the same ottoman, and instead of um, you know, keep instead of getting a different one, we just decided to keep the same one and just go ahead and use that and the pillows that we had originally gotten because it's not that it was like specifically for that couch. This will totally match the vibe of the other couch that we got on Facebook Marketplace and give it a little bit of pizzazz and some colors. So we get to take it upstairs. is well for one i was kind of afraid it was going to be like too tall but i mean we just have some elevation <laughs> it's not too bad <laughs> <laughs> have our legs go numb a little just bit because this couch is a bit low but that's okay um it works and i'm gonna get a tray of some sort and then potentially like maybe a plant um can go up here as well don't want to take up the whole thing, but we definitely don't need the whole thing for like our feet. There's only two of us. And this will be just really nice to, you know, be able to set our drinks. So will probably get coaster or something on there. Um, I love how it ties into the pillows. And then I cannot wait for that rug to come. And the coolest part. Oh yeah, storage under there. Bunch of storage for all these dang pillows that don't need to be on the couch. Oh, speaking of which, I'll put this one on the air. There. There you go. Uh, nice. Sweet. I think the rug is here. UPS just pulled up.
All right, time to tackle this project of putting the sticker on the backer boards that Nina and I cut. I am doing this in the comfort of my own home so that I can just hang out, chill, don't have to be, you know, outside. Like, I can just do this on the floor right here while I'm just chilling, watching Netflix. And so that is what I'm gonna be doing. It should go pretty fast. And this will also help me get them in the middle because these are a bit longer than the stairs are, as well as a bit like wider or taller than the, st than the backs of the stairs. Um, so it'll really kind of help me get them evenly placed in the middles of the stairs. That way they kind of all line up as we put them up um, we'll be going to the Airbnb again tomorrow, so we will have some more of that finishing touches and hopefully finish, finish, finish in the next couple of days before we start furnishing everything, but I'm gonna get to work. This might take me a while. And we're back at the Airbnb. I am ready to attach these to the backs here. So all I'm gonna do is put these in place and then take my nail gun here and just go ahead, attach them right to the back. I think six will be good. I'll shoot two in the corners and like two in the middle. And so that's one done. Looks great. So I'm beginning to think that these like backer, uh, the wallpaper parts, like just aren't very sticky because not only did they, you know, take like come off of the backs of the stairs, which I thought it was just because it was really textured. Um, but they're also not really sticking the best to these, and they're like smooth as can be. So, kind of was like, I don't know if they're the best sticky on -y thingies, um, but it is what it is because I really love the design of it and it's the perfect color. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm hoping that the nails will essentially hook them all together and make them not come off. But if they do, then I'll probably just have to go back in with some wood glue at a later point. But we're gonna cross our fingers that that's not gonna happen. on this time. Next project, we are going to go grab the baseboards that we stained last week and we're gonna install them so that they all look nice again. baseboards that I did not stain and looking at it up against the ones that I did stain they're pretty close um, the ones I did stain don't have as much of a reddish tone as the other ones but I think when everything gets in here everything's said and done it'll all look pretty cohesive So 
So besides cleaning and patching that closet, this room is done and ready for furniture. I love it so much. I think it all really came together. I love the accents of the wood and the bluish color that came in here. And it's just, it's just all coming together and I'm so happy to finally see that. Um, so next we are gonna put up the trim baseboards and things in the little hallway area. I labeled them all and I'm so thankful that I did because I would have no idea where everything goes. So this one says hallway, baseboard, right side of the bathroom door, right here. And I even put a little arrow, like an up and down arrow, like, okay, this points down. So that means this is the top. Boom, perfect fits right there. Looking good. There's just two little, well, three little things that I gotta do uh, regarding the trim. So it's been a while, but there used to be a mirror here. And so with that addition of the drywall instead of the mirror, it just made the measurements a tad bit different on some of these trim pieces. So I'm gonna have to cut one of them. And then this one got a little bit warped so I'm gonna have to make a new one of these. And then over here on this wall, um, we there, there used to be like a big patch here, um, like a not hardwood floor. So there, were, there wasn't even trim over here. So since we added the floor back and that type of thing, we need to get some trim that will match the rest of the trim. I'm pretty sure I found some at a salvage yard. Now it's just a matter of finding that that I found already so that I can repurpose it and put it here and it should match um, the original trim really closely. Got dad here helping with the lights. Peace, Peace out. <laughs> We're gonna replace this light in the hallway here. Light number two on the outside is up. We did it. And on to the next project. Also, just a little update of what Eamon's doing. He's clearing out the basement. We have, that has been like another storage unit basically for us for all, of, a lot of his camera gear. My paint stuff is down there. So he's made a huge difference while I've been working upstairs with dad. Yeah. How's it going? It's going. Slowly but surely. Filling that thing up? Yeah. We're gonna have to get another one back out. <laughs> we're making progress. So that's what really counts, right? Okay, we're back at the Airbnb house <laughs> slash other house. The house where we don't live. And But we do live because we're here so much. <laughs> no, we're not here that much. Um, so we're not going to work on anything like upstairs today. Well, not much, if anything. But our goal today is to get it like basically cleaned out, especially this level. Um, Neiman worked really hard yesterday to get the basement cleared out most of the way. We've still got like all of my paint and things and then some stuff from teaching that's down there as well. 
and then we've got like this living room area the kitchen area we've got to bring that fridge right there upstairs to the airbnb so that'll probably get done today and yeah just a lot of different things odds and ends to finish up this property so that we can actually rent it out and start making a little bit of passive income here it's been a long long time coming we are so excited to be so close to having this property ready and even's gonna eat some chick-fil-a yay yay and then we're gonna get started all right guys so this is gonna be staying this is an old dresser buffet thingy that lauren did a while back that's gonna be staring staying in the airbnb the couch is going to be staying in the Airbnb. Not sure what we're gonna do with this chair here. What are we gonna do with that chair there? Uh... Not sure either, okay. So we got some of this stuff that is here that's going to be staying here. So then we got the donation pile box there, picture there, but really we don't have too much stuff, like Lauren was saying. Downstairs. to get out of here but that's where it all is is the downstairs let's go down there and check everything out much. so down here that's what we're talking about this was all filled so we got well Nima got all of that trashed or taken over to our house it was a lot of his camera stuff yes it was now this is where we've been keeping my paint but I continue to have to come over here and like grab stuff and I'm really the whole point one of the whole points of why we decided to go for a rental for ourselves is so that we can have everything minus all of our extra furniture at one spot so that's why all of this paint and all these supplies need to come over to our rental and once that's over there we'll just have to decide what exactly we're gonna do with it i think i'm gonna i don't know i think i'm gonna do like a whole different type of shelving space you're gonna have to <laughs> so i think we're gonna trash some stuff and get it all packed up All of those are probably going to be a part of the Airbnb setup upstairs. I love this as the accent colors. We had this in one of our bedrooms and I'm using the rug from that bedroom. So I thought that all of these could be good. Not these, not this. All of these could be good for that accent upstairs. This goes on the couch down here. Like that. We had a day full of cleaning out this place and we've been here for like three hours or so. Got a pretty good amount done. It's supposed to rain pretty soon. So we need to go home and unload everything that we just loaded up so that nothing gets wet. But we're gonna call it a day here. We've still got some work to do. Also trying to decide where we wanna put this couch, if we wanna leave it here or if we wanna put it over there. And basically just like the whole layout of the entire downstairs level here. Also, we still have a lot of stuff that we need to do upstairs, but I 
say this a lot, I feel like, but I think we're really truly on the home stretch this time. I would say within about a month, um, we should have all of this done. Cross your fingers. Hopefully by June, like the beginning of June is our goal to have this open and up and running.